What's up, everybody? I'm Jackson. And I'm Kenny. And we are JK, JK Builders. Builders. Today, we are doing a review of the Ferrari 488 GTE AF course number 51, the Lego Technic set of the Ferrari 488 GTE. Uh, so, Jackson is going to break down the box for us on this one. Well, it's 18 plus the item number is 42125 and it is 1,677 pieces. Cool. So, yeah, we've, uh, I did the Porsche a while ago. I believe this one is on the same scale as that car. So, it's not quite as big as the Bugatti or the Lamborghini. Um, just slightly smaller. Uh, but it is still a really cool set. So, um, I built this one. Actually, it's been about a month ago, maybe three or four weeks ago. Um, it did come out January 1st with the uh, new lineup for 2021. Um, so I did buy it that day. I bought it, I believe, New Year's Eve, and then it came about a week later. Um, but it did take me, what, about two days to build. So a uh, pretty fun Technic set. I know we don't, we haven't reviewed a whole lot of Technic on this channel, if any. Um, I know Jackson's not crazy about Technic. No. It's not his thing, really. I think it's super cool. Um, so I have collected several Technic sets and do intend to collect more in the future, but um, this one um, is probably one of my favorites that we've done so far. So 1,677 pieces. The box is pretty cool. It's got solid black background. Uh, this one, as you can see, is completely littered with stickers, um, but it's to match the actual car in real life. Um, on the back of the box, you can see that actual car. There's a picture of it here. Um, and then up above, a rear view of the Ferrari. And then over here has the dimensions of the car. It's 19 inches long by about five inches tall. Uh, so yeah, that's the box for you. It has the specs here as well. Twin turbo V8, um, 192 miles per hour, uh, 530 horsepower, zero to 62 in three seconds. So that is the box. Let's check out the instruction book. Here's the instruction book. So one of the things that I like about this instruction book that I wish they would incorporate on more Lego sets is the fact that they put it in this little sleeve uh, to protect it and to keep it from getting bent up uh, during shipping or storing. So that's something that is definitely a plus. Um, these are the sticker sheets. So you can get an idea of just how many stickers were included in this set. Um, just a ridiculous number of stickers, but there is a reason for that. <clears throat> um, here's the instruction book. It is quite hefty. Um, I believe it is about 325 pages long um, and a Ferrari logo on the back. On the inside, there is a lot of cool info. Um, you got lots of pictures of the actual car that the, that the set is modeled after, as well as the Lego set side by side. So you can kind of see how they compare. Um, these are the drivers of the car. It's got some info on them. Uh, it's got some info on the design of the car itself. Um, just lots of cool little stuff. I like it when they include that stuff in the instruction books. Definitely adds to the um, value and quality of the experience. Um, in the back, there's also some additional um, pictures as well. Um, lots of different angles of the set and more pictures of the actual car. Let's check out the set. All right, so here it is, the Lego Technic Ferrari uh, here sitting in front of Jackson. Um, We'll just give you kind of a 360 view of the car. So you have the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So obviously just tons and tons of detail. This is a Technic set. It was quite technical. It wasn't an easy set to build. Um, like I said, it did take me a couple days. There were a couple things I got hung up on for a minute, but all in all, it wasn't like super hard, but um, it is gonna take a little bit of time. So as far as the details go, so originally you build the chassis of the car, as you can see, and then you start to build the motor and frame, then you build the seats, and then you build the exterior. Um, the motor, it does have the full motor. You can kind of see it inside of there. Um, as the car moves, the motor pistons do move in and out, as is the case on most Technic vehicles. Um, this is a mid-engine, so the, the engine is in the back of the car. It has this cool little spoiler on the back. Uh, Nice opening doors like this, has the full interior of a race car style inside. Um, it's got the nice little steering wheel with the sticker on the steering wheel, um, gauges, um, dials, all kinds of stuff inside of there. Um, it's got the full size seat. Um, in there you can see the engine a little bit better and the pistons moving in and out. So super awesome, super detailed. Um, it sports these nice black rims and wheels. The steering wheel, as you turn that, it does turn 
the and wheels as well. So you can see that it's all interconnected with Technic pieces. Um, on the front, you got this nice little lip here, bumper on the front. Um, got these side steps on the sides. So just tons and tons of detail. Tail lights, the exhaust pipes, um, Ferrari emblem on the back. I didn't count the number of stickers on this, but there are there are a ton of stickers. So they cover the whole tops with stickers, the sides. I have seen instances where people didn't include the stickers. It does look quite plain and it doesn't look like the car that it's meant to represent. So I considered not putting the stickers on, but I kind of felt like between seeing it that way and then just, I'm kind of a more of like a purist when it comes to Lego. I believe in building Lego in their intended form. Um, you know, every now and then it's cool to make a mock set or that type of thing, but I just kind of like to keep things the way that they're meant to be for the most part. Like you didn't want to put stickers on the Ghostbusters car, which we have now? Yeah, that's one that I'm going to leave the rust stickers off. And I think most people would agree that that's the way to go on the Ecto-1. But we'll talk about that later when we actually build that car. Um, so anyway, as far as the um, Ferrari goes, I don't know what more to say about it other than it's loaded with detail. It looks super cool. I love the way that it looks on the shelf on display. Obviously, it's not a play set. You're not going to get this down and play with it. <laughs> You're mostly just going to look at it and appreciate all the details and all of the Technic pieces that go into building this car and making it look awesome. Let's turn it around and take a look at the other door. So this one opens as well. Obviously being a race car, it's only got the one seat. Um, you see another view of the engine back there. So there you go. Super cool. All right, then just real quick, I thought I would put it next to the Porsche, the Porsche 911 uh, to kind of show you the difference. Please do not criticize me on the dust. Holy smokes, this needs to be dusted really bad. Um, but yeah, you can see they're, they're the same scale. The Porsche does look just a little bit bigger, but I think it's a, just a little bit bigger car in real life. Um, I think I like the Ferrari a little bit better. I like the look of it better. I feel like it just seems a little bit more detailed, a little bit more complete. It doesn't have the holes in it, kind of like the Porsche does. I feel like there was just, you know, some some gaps that they probably could have filled in a little bit better. Um, you don't see that quite as much on the Ferrari. A little a little bit, but not as much. Um, but all in all, I think they're both really awesome builds. Um, definitely would recommend both of them. Uh, the Ferrari retails for $159.99. The Porsche was $149.99. I'm not sure if you can still find the Porsche. I think I saw it in the toy store last week, but it is getting a little bit harder to find. Not as readily available. Um, the Ferrari you can pick up at most Lego stores or toy stores that offer the larger Technic sets. So let's uh, get just one more, one more view of the two sets side by side. Super cool. So I don't have the Bugatti or the Lamborghini or the old uh, orange Porsche that were the little bit larger scale. Uh, maybe someday I'll get those ones, but they are a little bit bigger than these and include quite a few more pieces, but these ones for what they are, the price point and the number of pieces I think are super awesome sets. Okay, so pros and cons of this set. Um, as far as pros, I think it looks awesome. It's uh, very, very uh, true to the the actual source material, which is the actual car. Um, I love the way it looks, it looks awesome on a shelf. Uh, the Technic pieces are great. Um, Technic's one of those things that you either love it or you're not crazy about it. I'm, I'm a fan for sure of Technic. Um, things that I don't like about this, there are a few uh, small gaps, like in the doors. I think that's just typical with, with Technic. There's only so much you can do, um, but there are some little gaps. Um, it gets a little bit uh, unstable in places. I think the doors could have been a little bit tighter. It has these uh, floor panels right here. They're just clipped on with like some, uh, I don't even know what they're called, little wrench looking pieces. Um, so they're really not on there very well. I thought they could have secured those a little bit better. Um, and then the stickers, you know, obviously it is what it is, but they couldn't have printed all these pieces. That would have been kind of silly, uh, but it was a humongous amount of stickers. Jackson, what do you think about this set? Well, I love how it looks. I mean, I, I know um, I've said I'm not really a fan of Technic, but with this one, I'm, I'm kind of more of a fan of Technic, so. <laughs> you love the way it looks, but you probably couldn't take this one out and play with it. No. You'd probably get in trouble if I saw you playing with it, to be honest. Yeah, um, but I love, I love how um, it looks. I, I just love all the stickers. I mean, I know it's a buttload of stickers. <laughs> yeah. But um, 
I think it looks really cool with these stickers. These stickers just make it like come to life. Yeah, it does. Especially when you see the actual car and how much um, it it looks like the actual car. Well, actually, another thing that's cool is that it can. <laughs> it has a working suspension as well. Bone. Yeah, that's awesome. All in all, I think it was worth it. It's uh, definitely a cool set. It's one that I definitely recommend. If you are a fan of Technic, then it's absolutely a must have. If you're a fan of cars, it's an absolute must have. For $160 price point, you just can't go wrong. It's definitely worth the cost. All right, so there it is, the new Technic Ferrari from Lego. Do you have it? Do you want it? What do you think of it? Comment down below. As always, like and subscribe. And until next time, keep on building.